Yeah, we were yeah. picking bananas to throw in with our cooking. Oh, fantastic. What does that make? It makes you think of goat's head soup. So you actually get a pretty good harvest off this tree. Yeah. And between the two of you, Taylor and Rowan, you come away all told with about 30 bananas. That's a lot of banana. Quality. Here's your 300 bananas. 30 bananas. <laughs> yeah, here's your 30 bananas and I'm taking my cut as the member. I don't remember the rest of that sentence. So, how many of these should we put in the soup or eat now? Some of them could oh, last. Bananas long. too. Is that a thing? If yeah. we have one each now, then we've got a few to spare for extra rations. Exactly. I was planning to put them in my bag with the rest of the rations. Yeah. How will they last? But I just got to know how many I'm minusing off, so... Just as a oh, random yeah. aside, while we're waiting for God to get stuff sorted again, yes, there is such a thing as Caribbean banana soup. Yep. Yeah. There's like eight of us. Uh, I don't know if beans will eat a banana, maybe nine. Uh, what a, what a... <laughs> I'm sudden, all of a sudden I'm thinking back to watching a wolf try and eat an apple, and I'm thinking, would beans be like that? And like, bleh, bleh, bleh. so it's all, all these paws and just oh, mostly small animals and berries and things like little forest. Bananas I don't think berries. like a banana would be like a. I could try, give it a go, try <laughs> yeah, to feed it. I don't, yeah, you bananas know. are berries. What are they herb? I don't know. Berries eat vegetables. <laughs> so let's say I keep twenty-two, twenty-one. Yeah. How much? The bananas weigh. I'd say about half a pound. That's no, that's too heavy. Uh, I'll just leave it as negligible then. Yeah. Ethan. I mean, for someone your size, especially. Yes. Like, mush, 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 mush. So you've had some bananas, you've had some meat, and some berries. Have you managed to fit the beep boop? Uh, no, Levy's soup. Ha I assume they're still just patiently making Levy's meat soup. Yes. I would hope so. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> this is a joke, I just slice a banana into the lovely stroke. <laughs> oh, we'll get wedged. We turn into a I mean, if, if you're doing that, just kind of slowly the head goes up so it's at your, sort of the clothes like you get to your head height and just kind of stare, <laughs> blinking at you. It's like, the fuck are why, you doing? Why do you need to make this uncomfortable? I wouldn't really do please. that. I wouldn't really do that. Because I know that you probably choke on it. Yeah, I was gonna say. Talking of such things, that is how Sneck pretty much eats his banana. He just kind of unpeels it, opens his mouth a bit creepily wide, and just slides the banana down hole. Good on you. Dal, I'll be in my bunk. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> Sneck, he's a freak. I mean, that's, that's how snakes you. eat. No, he ate my pig. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the pig was just utterly discarded in favour of essentially a cooler pet. Oh, discarded. How dare you say we discarded Porcules? Porcules Mulligan. Was he a child a of flanks too soon. Soon. Was he from the same litter? He survived by his four piglets and his bard. <laughs> <laughs> what are we? We're weird. That's how we like it! Yes, we are a group of shenanigans. We are all shenanigans, cahoots, and tomfoolery. Yes. Are we good? We're good. I mean, everyone's... You do make some passable soup. I assume you let it cool down before you tip it down Levy's neck stump. <laughs> yeah, we just do it in manageable scoops. You're damn fucking right they are. <laughs> Low on it. I'd imagine they kind of have to borrow a funnel from your alchemical kit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah rinse it first. Rinse it first. <laughs> Feed my baby. <laughs> I specifically use one hand to place the, the funnel in the hole and just use one hand to keep a right away from me while I pour down the soup with the other hand. You're big and strong, my child. Please stop. Um, if you're using all three hands, uh, what's happening with your head? Well, I'm, I'm using one hand to keep him away. Yes. Yeah. One hand has put the funnel in and then grabbed the bowl of soup and the last head of the hand is holding the head. Okay. Head so that you can see I, I, would, in, like... I would assume that you would be uh, stabilizing the funnel so it doesn't go everywhere. Well, yes, but that's with, you know, the witch type, like... type area. Fair enough. He's got hench neck muscles. <laughs> They're hench, mate. He's just clenching his neck. <laughs> Are we and, rested? Uh... Are we feeling good? Feeling tasty. I mean, I think Taylor's had an hour to nap meditate. Nap meditate. 
But no, it is actual druidic meditation to refresh the spells. So, um, are you ready to be the human <laughs> company, Haley? Yeah, and not only that, but I'm also going to use nature's paths, which is the t- the target instinctively knows the shortest, easiest, and fastest way through the wilderness. You can all like, follow me. I'm going to be like the tour guide through this. God, George, can you stop for a sec? <laughs> gonna, yeah, like, exactly, falling it's on. very obscene. I'm sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> Go on. Through this jungle, wasteland, amazing place. It's going to be great. Please lights. follow me. I will be You hold it like one of them the, the water sticks and then we go the wrong way. Like, oh, look, water. Well, oh, divining rods. Yeah. But yeah, with a combination of reading Rowan's map and those two spells, Taylor has got a pretty damn good idea of how to get back towards the Malele River Village. Yay! Yay. Which is going to take about two days, you reckon, by using Taylor's shortest route, if you head straight down to the banks of the river and follow it. Okay. And we'll find the wagon! Hopefully it'll be a reasonably uneventful two days, and by uneventful I mean avoid from major shenanigans and just us not dicking about. How many times are we going to have to roll the encounter table? When you should ask, are you Many. showing up now? Really glad I healed. <laughs> or do we have to roll for the encounter table? Because I haven't done it yet. Uh, the encounter table is a d10. I was going to say roll seven. Door number seven. Door number seven, good question. You roll it's a seven. new car! <laughs> oh. Do, 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 do. oh! I'm worried. Ho, 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 ho. Thanks, guys. We just killed the guard. I'm good. You didn't uh, kill a god. Araya doesn't know that. That That's fair, actually, yeah. Araya's, yeah. Araya's yet to fuck one, though. Anyway, what was the provider of rope now? Uh, behind that is me just setting up a map quickly, but you guys are proceeding along the riverbank. And I'm going to say before we can get here, yes, I'm reusing a battle map, but it's because I want to. Oh, you're, what, whilst you're doing that, I'm going to ask Taylor if she will totally give me that sweet, sweet, sweet bow. Maybe. What have you got? Arrange yourselves. Yeah, arrange everyone yourselves oh, in the water. I've, got, I've got some vines on my arm, but you can't have them. You should rip his arm apart. Don't rip my arm apart. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut it back. But will it regrow itself? Ooh, that's I'm really. I'm just holding it, and flopping it about. <laughs> like scallions, you just like put the tips in the water, and it'll all grow back. Or maybe it'll just reattach itself. No. I mean, are we gonna have to like keep it pruned? <laughs> Give it a trim. Keep it pruned. Keep it watered. Uh, too early to tell. You just spray it with a water bottle. Give it a <laughs> We're bit. We're gonna get little little Oreo fruits off of it. Those <laughs> <laughs> oh, will not be edible. <laughs> They will, however, house wasps. Oh no! <laughs> What's this? Plums? <laughs> you made, made a delicious jam for you. No. Oh my god, if the arm could grow good berries, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> the snowsberries. So, uh, has everyone arranged themselves in their approximate walking order? Yeah. I don't even know which way we're headed. Oh, we're heading back, aren't we? So. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be like. Right. Yeah, but I'll, I'll sort of rear up the end. I'll be at the back. Okay. We're heading from left to right. Yes. Oh, okay. In which case, I want snack next to me like that. And if that's what we're doing. Back in the same place you were, even though it looks like it because freaking. Oh, all right. Okay. It's just I have a limited number of these to use. That's okay. That's I'm fine. with you. We're not complaining. We're here for adventures. So, who wants to roll a perception check? Because... I will. Ooh. Big points in perception. I mean, uh, no, no, that one. Like that see it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's three high rolls. I am the fucking Matrix. Okay, <laughs> it doesn't take long for nearly all of you to notice that there's no bird song here. The hell. And in addition, oh Aiden, with such a high roll, you can Arias see something. the one who got the highest roll. Yeah. Oh, well, both of you noticed then, sorry. I, but... I noticed as well, because I'm between the roles. Mm. <laughs> so, Everyone yes, was a 20. Every... So you three 
all notice that there's something here and it's hanging off of the tree directly to your north. Shall we just That's good, we're not birds. That one? Yeah, uh, this one I'm pinging. Huh. There is what That's looks cool. like a scrap of fabric hanging off this tree. How high up? It's actually quite low, it's snagged quite close to the ground. Hold up. Dun, 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 dun. I take on thermal vision. Okay, where are you looking? Uh, to the north. Doesn't take you long. There is a fucking massive heat mass around here. I oh, see no things. Seen... That's curious. There? Or there? Uh, hang on, let me... I think I might have been on the wrong layer. Can you see this? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Better or worse? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm just there is a point that out to people. There is an enormous heat mass in that tree. And incidentally, the song to the bottom of this tree, right in front of you here. Mm -hmm. And there is, as I said, the enormous heat mass in the tree over here. Oh, right. Boy. I'm going to point out both to people and then tick it off again. Uh, should I be readying a shot? Probably. I'm going to sort of withdraw a knife from my pouch. I'm a chill. Huh. But I'll sort of take it, take it out from the pouch and then just slide it next to my leg. Yeah. So it's not that obvious. So, what now? Sense motive. But then again, I can't see the thing, so... Yes. Whose motivations are you sensing? <laughs> the world. What do you <laughs> want against me? <laughs> I want to use magic missile on the darkness. <laughs> oh, is it the fact that we, we can't see it because it's invisible, or we can't see it because it's hidden by trees? Uh, it's just um, in the as far as we know. You can... Try and look now that you know something's there, but there's nothing obvious to the naked eye. I'm gonna try again. Nope, still don't see shit. I am going to pick up some dirt off the ground oh. and throw it where Lime has pointed to, as as close as I can get, you know, without being in immediate danger. I like to point out, I just rolled a natural one and still got an eleven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna. It's fifteen feet away from me. There, I'm just gonna throw the dirt over it and see if that does anything. Dirt. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the the dirt splats up against the tree that did not have the thermal signature in it. Guys, it's clear. <laughs> <laughs> Lime's got a virus. He's been hacked. I repeat, the tree where there's the scrap of cloth and the tree where there's the massive thermal signature are two different trees. Can I investigate the scrap of cloth? Yeah, you can. Okay. Um, how dry is the terrain around here? Uh, it's rainforest, so it's humid as heck. Good. I prepare a bomb. Oh boy. And I can just wander uh, over in the sort of clear uh, line of fire. Ethril, as you pick up the scrap of cloth, it becomes quickly clear that the branch that it's snagged on, it looks like the sleeve of some kind of shirt that's been dragged off. Oh, it's that guy. Snagged. On the branch. That's the guide. Is it the guide sleeve? I mean, it certainly could be. It's it's the same kind of material and color that he was wearing. I say we advance with our eyes open as if we would normally. I mean, he could be the heat mass in the tree and just hiding. Maybe. No. Uh, should have made this clear. I see. It's huge. It is. There is something that's taking up most of the canopy of this tree. That's okay. hotter than the tree should be. Can we go around the other way? In the short, some kind of rainforest ooze. Now that I know that there's a heat mass thing there, can I do another perception check to see if I can see it? Yeah, yeah, you can, absolutely. Yeah, I'll, if I'm training my eye... Yeah, I'm I did mine as well. Can I see anything with a 20? Uh, Araya doesn't. Aiden does. I'm going to try one more time. I still don't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> What do your elf eyes see? How dare you? I don't see <laughs> any. Oh. Okay. Um, do we burn to the fucking ground? Guys, a tree's supposed to be hairy. <laughs> no, we're burning it. We're burning it. Burning it. Okay, which tree is hairy? Uh, hairy. The, hairy. The, the big, the hot tree. It's a hot and hairy tree. Dad? <laughs> I'm, I'm terrified. I think I know what this could be in there. Okay, well, are you I telling us? Are you telling us this? I sense motive of the hairy tree. 
But all, all I'd, I'd noticed was that a branch looks a bit on the hairy side. And it, it, I'm thinking some kind of giant tarantula thing, and I'm noping the hell out. Oh, IRL. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, yeah, that's actually true. That could be a tarantula. Uh, so, I've, try- I've tried to uh, sense motive of the hairy tree. Uh, you sense that it is still most definitely a tree. You don't know enough about trees to know their inner wants and desires, and much less to sense. Why do you want to throw a, a bomb at that weird hairy tree? Oh, gee, Willikers lime. I really hope you can do something about this hairy tree. <laughs> I mean, if, if we're doing a redo, sure, I'll do something much better. That tree sure looks scary. No, we're not changing what we did. We're just re- reliving what we did. The vines. So cool. I walk over to some firing position and I throw a bomb at the thing because there's a huge heat mass. And dear old Aiden over here has suddenly realized, wait, trees aren't supposed to be hairy, are they? And sure enough, the explosion does <laughs> reveal the presence of a fucking big tarantula. Yeah, where, where's the cocoon? It had a cocoon uh, thing yes. that is now on fire. Where is it? Yeah, the you explosion know, knocked it out of the tree, and I'm just putting its token down now. Okay. Just, uh, just, just gonna put this out there, but um, do notice how it's bigger than fucking Rowan. Yes. <clears throat> That's why I tried handling animal. <clears throat> what, trying to ride it? No. <laughs> Onward is a glorious battle steed. <laughs> No, I'm just trying to calm it down so I don't die. It's too late. We're doing this. Well, I mean, it is pissed off, so if everyone could please roll initiative. Yeah, we're going into combat rounds. No, I don't want to roll C20. Yes. Because that doesn't uh, exist. Oh! Hey, boy. Nicely done. <laughs> I am taking my I'm damn shot at that. I rolled a 15, I'd, everybody! I'd really love it if I actually had some dexterity. But unfortunately, I have none. God. Hello. You should be using the initiative actual role from your character sheet because you um, some characters get like bonuses and stuff. It's not. It's never like a normal roll d twenty roll. No, it is a normal d twenty roll because I just said I don't have dexterity. Oh, sorry, I missed that. It's, it's so weird. I've said that a number of times. You're a, you're a non rogue. You're a non dex rogue. Oh, I'm very. Fuck it. Let's go. It's a bold strategy. Yes, I, uh, we're we're gonna, gonna, you're gonna think of a tactical genius here. So. How about we have something I can fix, like I had like no ranged or melee mod. You have been putting stats into your stats on the even numbered levels, haven't you? What? We'll fix that later. Um, okay, so the turn order is... Aiden, Jimmy Gerald the Spider. <laughs> Levy, Taylor. <Tavis. laughs> His name is Gerald. And spray it with oven cleaner. <laughs> and then light it on fire. I what? I rolled a uh, a thirteen and I'm still near the back. You've missed death roll. Death oh, roll's right, not right. on the list. I'm at the oh. end. So that cocoon is currently burning. Like, okay. It's explode. Okay, uh first up, Aiden, what's up? Well, I'm gonna wanna shimmy over here. Hit disadvantage. <laughs> Wrap around the tree to get a, a good firing angle. Mm-hmm. And then I'll take a shot at him. Roll him. Ah, that's not a good roll. Nope, you miss. Damn. How can you miss something that big? Fear. <laughs> I don't like having to look down my sights at it. I mean, it's Fair still enough. pretty entangled in the tree. It was in the middle of, you know, preparing dinner. That's um, worse though, you know? <laughs> when it's like you can't see all of it, you can just see bits of it, like glimpses. Shit, shit. Then your imagination fills you in the gaps. No, the cocoon's already on fire. Oh, it's moving! Oh, oh, don't make it move. Ah. Ah. I just realised he's probably I'm in the cocoon. I'm just going to put a bumboo up to vault there. I just realised our old guide is probably in the cocoon. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that's the. That. If you if you guys can fucking oh, keep the God. spider off me, I'll be able to make a break for him. I've oh, got a plan. I think you're gonna be sick. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder so, where I had this many arachnophobes. I'm oh, yeah. gonna be playing by post for the rest of this game. <laughs> <laughs> Play by well, snail mail. 
<laughs> it's going to reach out with its horrendous chittering fangs. That was going to live tweet. <laughs> and it's 10 does not beat Rowan's AC. So Absolutely not. Its teeth clank off the shield. Fuck it up, Rowan. <laughs> I don't think I have an up- a stack of opportunity for that, unfortunately. You don't, know, uh, But we are round to Levy, who, like the rest of the party, has lost his head, but for different reasons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it reminds, it's more of a permanent condition. So, to be fair, I haven't lost my head, because I'm not an arachnophobe. <laughs> Where's your head at? Right. Uh, I'm going to move over, and I'm going to grab stuff from my belt, and then use a regent to cast Targeted Bomb at Mixture. And that's my turn. Okay. So now we're round to Tailey. Beans is still asleep, by the way, so he's playing no part. Yeah, first I'm just gonna vomit. I'm just gonna, just gonna get it all out. <laughs> You're a druid. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking in real life here. <laughs> I'm not role-playing. <laughs> I'm sure Tailey's life. fine. I have no ammo. I'm going to have to get real close. Right, so I didn't give my bow to Raya. No, you didn't give it me now, so... So, okay. basically I'm just staring down this giant spider. Yeah, yeah so I'm going to try and shoot it in the eyes. I don't like, I don't like can I do that? legs are on you. Yeah, you can try and shoot. Just right in the face there. <laughs> right in a stupid AI face. Does that stand a risk of hitting me? Is there 14? Uh, 14 does not hit, no. Oh, balls. Are you sure you want this bow? Who picked the world's most armoured fight? It's like the worst bow ever. I'm good. I mean, have you ever looked at a spider up close? That kitten no. is... We don't want to. Please stop describing the spider. I roll, I'm just kind of glaring at the spider. Well, Rowan, you're up. Unfortunately, that does not beat its AC. Fucking hell. Okay. <laughs> All right. Right. Y'all good? I uh, yeah, I don't give a fuck. It's a spider, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna use my action as double movement to get over to the cocoon. Okay. Um, I'm guessing if I was to start cutting it open, that would be an action, is it? That would be yes. All right. Well, I I, 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 I guess I just start blowing the flames, <laughs> <laughs> seeing as I can't do anything else. Well. It, the flames are mostly smouldering, but when you get close, you notice something else. Uh-uh. There are dozens, if not hundreds, of tiny, tiny crawling spiders all over the cocoon. Oh, oh it's an egg children! You want to reset it on fire? Why, 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 why? <laughs> get a stick no. and smack it! I was going to eat its babies! <laughs> ah, well. ah. Yeah, you might want to. (laughs) The character of Taylor will be played by Jordan Coley for this segment. (laughs) I apologise. I didn't realise spiders would have this much of an effect. I feel like the only arachnov, uh, the only non-arachnophobe here is me. Okay. I mean, I'm not playing him, but I'm okay with this. I ain't give a fuck. It's just bugs. Because <laughs> spider, I hit them with sticks. If it's too like. accurate. <laughs> um, so, so sorry, Al. Just to be clear, I saw nothing else in this cocoon. It's just baby spiders. <laughs> uh, no, there is clearly a body in there, and it looks like right before it was set on fire, the babies were trying to have lunch. All right, cool. Thank you. Find a there stick is and smack a body them. in there. Well, they're tiny. You're not going to be able to smack them with. Are you? Do you think? I can do it. Oh, oh, also. The, the giant spider is booping round's nose by the looks of that picture. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how its four legs are doing that. <laughs> right, so who's next in the turn order? It's Ethril. Ethril. Uh, I'm going to try and jump on the back of it. One more one under that. <laughs> uh, you're rolling a combat manoeuvre if you're actually trying to get on its back. Alright. Let's roll d20 plus my combat. Combat manoeuvre bonus, yes. Hey. Hey. Uh, no. Oh. Oh, hang on, let me double check. It's CMD... No, no. Okay. No luck. I'd probably slide off. He's probably got very silky legs. Uh, that and it's actively resisting you getting on it. So I'll probably slide off and then sort of roll back a little bit. So now we're around in the turn order to Aiden again. Aiden, right. do something. Uh, gonna spend my move 
movement, blood. I'm gonna take another yeah. shot at him. Cause dear God, why? Oh, for f mm. <laughs> then a is gonna move to here and take a take a stab. Yeah, and that was, I believe. That'll do it. Roll damage. Nice. Almost the damage on the rapier again. Should have this written down, really. Pretty sure it's 8d10. No. <laughs> I think it's 1d8, actually. Yeah, it's a d8. Uh, and then it 1d is... spider. Dab. Plink. Next up is the speeder. Oh, bye. Uh, it is going to attempt to have a snack. <laughs> on a good. Rowan. Oh, Beats Rowan's AC, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it going to be a venomous spider? Because I hope not. Probably. I mean, aren't most spiders venomous in some way, shape, or form? Oh, yeah, and then also consider the fact that it's megafauna. Yeah. You're just getting this thing's attack roll. Ooh, you got lucky there. Seven damage. Sorry, ten damage. And uh, could you please roll me a fortitude save? You are perfectly safe, Nat. Wow, well, that's cool. Poison means nothing to Rowan. So who is next in the turn order? It was Levy. Can you guess what time it is? Bomb. Is it time? Bomb. <laughs> Ooh. Hit. <laughs> See, this is the fun part. Burn. Holy fuck. Burn. <laughs> Wait a minute, Dora. That's a 23 <laughs> damage on a confirmed hit with a. Could you just. How the hell do you get that on a bomb? Targeted bomb admixture. It basically doubles the damage, but means it doesn't deal any splash damage. Oh good my god. lord. <laughs> it's the uh, good shit. This thing is just. That's a significant wound right there. Is there like an open wound somewhere? I'm not going into a physical description of this spider anymore for the sake of the rest of the people here. Just, just, just <laughs> yes or no? Yes. Okay, I'm going to make an opportunity of that when it's my turn. Well, it's Taylor's turn. I'm going to shoot you right in the eyes again. I'm going to try. Find this thing. He's getting rid of it. It's not going to work. Let's try. Uh, trying's all we got. Burn the nothing. Ooh, 17. With 8 damage. Does not beat AC. Eight damage. Oh, eight that's damage. a six. Oh yeah. Sorry, I'm blind. So Seventeen doesn't beat AC, unfortunately. So it's got an AC of eight. Wait, this eight is eight. some armored fucking spider. Why? We. Turn order now rolls around to Rowan. What's the game plan? Kill it. <laughs> that'll hit. That'll do ten damage. Were you adding a spell to this one? Can I add a spell to my halberd strike? Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's an attack. Oh, wait, no, Scarnia, you can only do it to your shield, can't you? Yeah. So you, putting any, you can put your arcane pool into this one if you want to, which boosts its damage plus one for every point you put in. Uh, no thanks. Okay, well, it's pretty much, Jesus, between the bomb and the halberd, this creature is practically almost dead. 